morning, ang topic po natin ay tungkol sa intellectual disability. Ano nga ba to? Dahil ako ang pagkakaalam ko, this is mental retardation. Tama po ba? All right, Doctora Lolita Serrano. Good, Good morning. morning. Welcome Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm back again. Yes. Okay. okay. So, ayun nga po. Ano nga po ba yung ibig sabihin? Yeah, you're talking about disability. mental retardation. Mm -hmm. um, well, historically, it all started just here in the past. No? Narinig natin yan, feeble-mindedness. No? But, again, are the days, uh, during the 1941, naging mental deficiency yun. And then, during the 60s, it turned out to be mental retardation. Mm -hmm. 2007, 2007, uh, the um, American Association of Intellectual Disability and Developmental Delays called it intellectual disability. So we are referring to the same uh, conditions, oh, okay. and those uh, terms in the past, you know, uh -huh, they are very uh -huh. stigmatizing. Mm -hmm. So right now we refer to them as intellectual disabilities. Now, who are they? How do we find out? No, um, actually these are people or children, I would say, um, who have um, significant sub-average normal. In, uh, sorry. In, uh, functional intelligence. So when we say uh, significant, um, it means uh, these are children whose uh, intelligence, um, whose IQ, I would say, went down to two standard deviation. Uh -huh. IQ na umaabot hanggang um, 50 to 55 up to 70. Okay. Yun yung mga mild, no? Mild. And then we also have, uh, yung mga mild, those are children who are educable. They can be integrated in the uh, regular classroom setting. While meron din tayong tinatawag na moderate, uh, they are trainables. No, they can be trained in their, their practical life skills. Mm -hmm. And we also have the uh, severe and profound. So right now, actually, ang pananaw natin sa kanilang lahat, all children can learn, even the uh -huh. most severe. I mm -hmm. have handled them in the past. I tell you, they are very challenging, but they can be learned, depending, of course, on the uh, severity of the condition. Then from there, you begin what mm -hmm. the needs are. Okay. So, how can you how can you detect this? Um, how old is a child when you can detect? All right. Uh, let me tell you that there are some cases who are born with syndromes. Paglabas palang kita mo na. Oh, physical. No, like like yes, like mm -hmm. uh, for example the uh, these uh, children whom we refer to as uh, Down syndrome. The pre uh, Down syndrome kita mo na. We have heard so much yes, yes. about uh -huh. Down syndrome. Kita ng kita mo na talaga no the the looks of the child. And then there are also uh, mga bago tong um, um, syndromes like Prader Willi syndrome. Paglabas no ito mga hypotonia na antaba antaba taba nila. And later on in life, no uh, it can be very uh, I would say threatening. Dahil uh, sila yung may tendency maging obese can be a life-threatening. That's why in the program, aside from education, we monitor on their health as well, mm -hmm. the exercise and everything. So yung question mo, how can we detect? For some syndromes, it can easily be detected. And upon thanks, birth. Yeah. yeah, upon birth. Mm -hmm. And thanks to the advanced um, medical Knowledge, intervention yes. nowadays, mm -hmm. uh, in the past we said that these people with um, Down syndrome have a very short lifespan, but not, not anymore today. Oh, not anymore. Not, not anymore. anymore. They can last as... 45 to 50. Why? Because of medical intervention. Mm -hmm. Maliit pa lang yung mga bata na yan. Nandiyan na lahat yung mga medical interventionists mm -hmm. like um, the, the cardiologist, the lungs, the professional, the ears and everything. No, Nanduto na sila lahat. And uh, we, we have heard so many um, uh, advocates like mm -hmm. the Down Syndrome Association of the Philippines. They really help these children. Yan makita mo yung mga bata ngayon with Down Syndrome. Again are the days, you know, when you see these children with sullen eyes, mm -hmm. you know, with yes. the protruding uh, Yeah, you know, so, so what if they, they don't have those? They don't have... They don't have those <coughs> physical, physical attributes. Oh, yes. That later on, you would see that these uh, children are not following the, uh, the normal developmental milestones. Mm -hmm. Yung pagdapa pa lang, uh, late na yan, Pagsasalita mo especially, which is, should be very, very visible. So the parents must be alarmed already when, once the child does not follow the normal development of milestones. Okay. Let's talk about naman yung causes. Saan po ba mm -hmm. nagagaling to? First, of course, we know it's genetics. Yeah, genetics, yeah. Or pag mm -hmm. nagkasakit ang mommy while, uh, yeah, while uh, pregnant. pregnant. Oh, okay. What mm -hmm. are the other causes po of this Okay, uh, yun nga yung binanggit natin kanya, the biomedical, no? Yung, yung mga syndromes, mga chromosomal problems, mga defects and everything. Thing. Now, there, there is also such thing as what we call um, environmental. Mas malaki ang percentage ng mga ganun. Yeah, compared to the genetics. Uh -oh. Oh. Why? Why? Because of some socioeconomic dis disadvantage again, because of poverty. We know that a lot mm -hmm. of parents mm -hmm. are not aware. It's more of an awareness. Mm -hmm. And if you're the, you know, I have surveyed this. I have gone to the 
you know, marginalized areas, and mm -hmm. you would see that the um, uh, the number of uh, population from the uh, depressed areas are greater compared to the others. Like what? Poverty is one. Well, of course, hindi naman natin sabihin mo, porky mahirap ka, mayroon ka ng anak na ganun. Of course, it does not follow. But uh, because of non-awareness, we have heard so much about the uh, prenatal care. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Na-advocate natin yan, ano? Kung nakalusot yung parent doon, for example. Mm -hmm. So what happened during the perinatal? We do not know. There are some accidents that can happen during the perinatal. Mm -hmm. Okay, nakalusot sa perinatal, nakalusot yung bata sa perinatal. What about the postnatal mm -hmm. stages? Na ilabas mo na yung bata ng normal. Mm -mm. Because of some social, uh, maybe sensory deprivation, hindi masyadong stimulate yung bata. That can be one. Lack of nutrition is another. We know that. No? Mm -hmm. Do, those okay. are so many causes of, uh, and also exposure to some environmental concerns. Like for example, baby pa lang yung bata or infant pa lang na exposure sa mga chemicals uh, say, or mga ganong lead content. Let's say there's, yes, there's mm -hmm. a factory, ganyan. Yes, that's another. Those are environmental and some accidents that can possibly happen mm -hmm. during your, uh, So, you pwede pa lang, kung halimbawa ang isang mm -hmm. ina ay nagbubuntis, yun, pa pwede mo na ma-prevent yun. Do so, ano pa po yung pwede nating uh, para prevention? Okay, uh, siguro, let's go back to the very, very first stage. If, if for example, the mother is planning to be pregnant, mm -hmm. no? Yes. Ang pinaka-latest discovery ngayon, no, the medical, sino yun? <laughs> 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 okay. okay. <laughs> Thanks to the rubella vaccine, no? Iyan mo na yun, magpa-inject the Bella. Yung Bella, the Bella. For, Bella. for, the, for Bella. those who are, oh, oh. Yes, for yes. those who are, you know, intending to get pregnant very soon, maybe, bago ka mabuntis, magpa-inject ka na nun. Because we can never tell, you know, the mother might, you know, contract on German measles. Oh, the, that's the worst thing that could happen to the, to the unborn child. 10 to 40 percent can damage, severely uh -huh. damage the brain of the child. Oh that's, that's one prevention that you can do. Of course, yeah, monitor, uh, the prenatal, very important, no? Talagang close monitoring yan uh, with your uh, ob, -GYN, OB No, OB The medications, the food intake, and everything. I've talked so much about food intakes, no? Yung mga ganun, of course, the mood, may mga maternal concerns. So, so kanyari tayo, yung no? isa, um, uh -huh. magpa-plano nga mabuntis, uh -huh. what, what are the food, uh, what food can they take and what they really should yeah. not take? Alright, so, so you'll be taken care of by your ob and your nutritionist. And of mm -hmm. course, it got to be balanced and there got to be measurement. Balanced, eh, no? Everything in moderation. And uh, yeah, your ob will and nutritionist will give you oh, all of these listings. Eto, alam natin to, talong. Is it really bad, talong? Ah, when, I love eggplant. I when love you're pregnant, eggplant too. Me too. But when you're oh, pregnant, you cannot eat talong. Oh. Yeah, according Is to this French, I do not know. I love French. Uh, but talong. we're not French too, anyway. No? Huh? Uh, according to research, uh, research. research, according to research, ang pregnant daw kasi nakakaberry, you know, cause of berry, 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 you know. Oh, and uh, that was that proven? Siguro if it, if it is, if you eat eggplant in moderation, anything mm -hmm. naman. Yun yung mga crabs, mga prawns, uh, yun ay, bawal talaga yun. Yun yung kapag... mga, yun yung mga, ah, really? ay, bawal yun. Oh, yung sinabi natin mercury, yes. no? The mercury, mm -hmm. high in mercury that can cause uh, other brain damage or ADHD. Sarap pa naman. Mm -hmm. Sarap, mm -hmm. And... <laughs> In moderation, siguro. You, you know, uh, choose um, what, uh, you know, choose if you consult, want a healthy baby mm -mm. or... Or happy you. <laughs> <laughs> How about coffee? Of, um, siguro, one, one cup a day. And if you uh, can stay cup. away. <laughs> if Chocolates. You can, if you can stay away. Uh, uh, there's no harm. Chocolates. And also for those mothers, pregnant mothers, those who drink, those who, you know, smoke. Drink alcohol. Uh, Ay, talaga. No, Yan yung no, no. Ay, yeah, no no alcohol. Buntis, hindi and buntis. And no smoking for pregnant yes. and yeah. for non-pregnant. <laughs> Yun yung nagkakaroon ng fetal alcohol syndrome. Makita uh -huh. mo, nagkakaroon ng deformities in the face of the babies. Ah, uh, FAS, we call it uh, FAS, no? Marami, marami mga syndromes na ano, and some Fetal of them can be... Fetal alcohol syndrome. Uh, uh, FAS. So, uh, some can be prevented. Now, for those, for example, talagang, well, God willing, you are blessed with this child to take care of, no? Then maybe, upon birth, you've seen that there is already, you know, this, uh, some form of intellectual disability or deformities on the part of the child. Then, uh, early intervention, of course. Yun, ano po yung okay. mga early intervention? Ah, okay. In a nutshell. Uh, in a nutshell, yun nga yung binanggit ko kanina. There are some medical um, interventionists who can attend to these children. Papasok yung mga role of physical therapist to help the child, you know, um, turn, 
strengthen the neck of the child, the head support of the child, and then pasok din yung occupational therapist dyan. Maybe the child has a problem on you know, swallowing, kasama yun, ano? And of course, yeah, pati swallowing, tinuturo namin yan, ano? How to swallow, how to masticate. You know, if you do not know how to swallow and masticate, how will you survive? What does masticate mean? Chewing. Chewing, Chewing. Chewing the food. How to, how to chew? How to chew the food. And but, that follows language as well. But it's automatic naman pag meron kang nilagay sa bibong parang. No, there's some people. Of... There's Talaga? some people who can and, and that, They'll that, just stop the food in there. Oh, parang... Or parang maybe just bang. swallow also without for chewing. Adults, but they say you have to chew your food at least 30 to 50 times before you swallow. Ah, yeah. 30 to 50 times? Yeah, dry <laughs> na. Wala nang lasa. This is swallow, mm. ano na lang. Mastication is also very important in the development of speech and language. Ah, that is a tongue okay. exercise. Diba? When oh, parang kayong chewing gum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. <laughs> diba? Para we use gum. Ano to? Gummy bear? Sa mga okay. Ay, yes. May problema sa ano. May problema sa speech. Just as long as walang pustiso or else matatanggal. Diba? Pag <laughs> Wala lang pustiso mga bata. Ah, okay. <laughs> Ito. Ito mga bata may We're pustiso. Talking. Babies. Hindi, hindi cute. Tingnan. Cute. Ay, cute pag bungi. Ang baby. Oo. Oh, oh. oh. Pero pag malalaki. <laughs> Nagkakataki. <laughs> Many. Thank so many you very process, much, so, uh, Doctora, for all the information. Oh, thank you so many things to talk about. Mm -hmm. Any contact details? No? Contact details? Yes. Uh, yeah, you can reach me at www.reachincorporator.com. Uh, Nandun mo lahat po ang aming mga servisyo at paano natin matutulungan yung mga batang ganyan. Yeah. as other related uh, developmental delays. Okay. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, stay with us because up next is Arts and Crafts. Only here at Rise!